welcome back to my channel. So today we have another new fragrance from the Britney Spears fragrance range. I think this is the third release in about six months and it is the new Fantasy Intense, an intense version of the original Britney Spears Fantasy. Now decades later reformulated and reimagined in this intense version. So I'm going to give you my review, first impressions, let you know how it differs to the original. If you're new here, then hello, welcome, we're all about perfumes here, so check out my hundreds and hundreds of other perfume reviews. I'll leave the links to the other recent Britney releases down below. And if you're a regular who hasn't subscribed, then do hit that subscribe button and show your support and get involved in the comments down below. And as always, I will leave links of where you can get this perfume in the UK, Europe, rest of the world, US. I'm not sure if it's available everywhere yet, but as it is, I will update the links. So Britney Spears' original fantasy came out in 2005 and is still a decent selling perfume. It's really known for this white chocolate cupcake very very sweet smell but also with some kind of sour kiwi notes but it's super sweet I personally find it too sweet for me though I am a fan of Midnight Fantasy which has berries in most of the fantasy perfumes but especially the original and the Midnight one are amazing for lasting they really really have great lasting power they stay in your hair and your clothes for like days after you've sprayed them and I think that's one of the reasons why they've stuck around and continued to be good sellers because they are good perfumes. So when I saw that they had released a new intense version, I was super excited to try it. And when I say they, I don't know what's going on with Britney at the moment with the whole Free Britney movement, but from what I understand, the perfume contract isn't to do with him, so to do with her dad. So I don't think if you buy this, the money goes to him, I think it goes to Britney, probably mainly to the fragrance brand, which I think is Coty or Puig. Anyway, I'm here to talk about the fragrance, not Free Britney. So you'll be pleased to know if you're a fan of the original that it definitely has that same signature sweet note to it. But I would say that this is like a more mature version of it. It's a bit warmer, it has some slight more nods towards the woody undertones. The um, vanilla-y, cupcake-y white chocolate is much more warm and more like Le Vie Belle rather than like a super sweet candy white chocolate. I personally think that the kiwi note is less than in the original. So it basically comes out as a sort of warm, cosy, vanilla-y, warm scent. It reminds me quite a lot of Pure Seduction from Victoria's Secret and a lot of those other like vanilla-y Victoria's Secret fragrances. There's a bit of jasmine and orchid in here which is there in the original but I think they're coming through a bit more and they're a bit more sophisticated. So I would say that this is like a more sophisticated version of the original and the packaging reflects that as well, right? It's that darker purpley pink, it's got gold like sequins on and you know all the packaging just feels a bit more grown up the branding so personally I definitely prefer this to the original the original did make me feel a bit queasy and sick whereas this feels more warm and cozy it reminds me a bit of a sort of marshmallowy warm smell from like um Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme the intense one it's that kind of vibe at the kiwi um, there's some light chin as well, almost make it feel a bit warm orangey if that makes sense. And I definitely think this is one of the best releases that we've had for a while from Britney. Like the more recent Progative Ego one I was a bit underwhelmed with. The Festive Fantasy again I was a bit like indifferent to. Whereas this I would recommend to people if you want a very affordable vanilla. And I think that's a key thing to note, right, about the Britney perfumes is how inexpensive they are. You're looking at maybe £30, maybe less for a full size like this. So, so much more affordable than things that this smells like, like the Dolce & Gabbana, which was would be twice that. So I know that they are worn by people that don't even care 
like for Britney and her music, they just like the smell. And that's definitely another reason I think why they stuck around and continue to sell well. I would say that this is more for like a going out, nighttime kind of occasion, or perhaps as a sort of quite sort of sexy smell with the vanilla. I wouldn't wear this really to the office or to any kind of serious occasion, right? I think you could wear it during the day if you were in an appropriate setting. You know, you don't want people to be smelling this like sexy vanilla smell if you're, I don't know, in a like serious environment, I don't know personal preference but I would say it's perfect for nighttime going out you know it would really stand out people will be able to smell it on you when you're in you know a crowded bar where everyone else is wearing perfume as well it would still stick out so I do think that this is Soki approved I definitely do like it and rate it and think it's a good fragrance no idea whether Britney's been involved in it or even smelt it um but that is a separate story I guess so yeah, let me know guys if you've tried this, what do you think of it, do you prefer it to the original like me, or are you a fan of Midnight Fantasy or any of the others in the range, let me know in the comments down below. But that's it guys, so thanks so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!